Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Freeland and welcome back to another episode of my Sunday special. This is episode number 39. And in the last episode, we played some Black Ops 2 Zombies on Origins, which was a ton of fun. And today we are back here on Modern Warfare 3 Survival, this time playing on the map Overwatch, which should be a ton of fun. Again, I've never played this map before ever, but it should be really, really fun. If you guys remember from the last episode, which was quite a while ago, we actually managed to break top 1,000 in the world on Liberation, which is pretty dang insane. And hopefully we can do just as well on Overwatch. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and not waste any more time and jump right into this. So uh, this is another DLC map in the game, of course. And I can't remember if this map was in the first DLC or if it was in the second DLC. Because the DLC in Modern Warfare 3 was pretty weird, but I do believe that it, this was in the first collection, which basically means that they uh, basically put four maps into a collection that you could buy kind of like a map pack. But yeah, this is an interesting map and looks like we have about, I would say regular or hardened difficulty for this map. We'll just have to see how things go. It kind of depends on what weapons we start with. And it looks like we're starting with the models, so this isn't going to be too hard of a map, at least on paper. But this is a pretty cool looking map. I think this is one of the smaller DLC maps in the game. It looks really nice though. Like aesthetically. Okay. I mean, they, they are starting us with the models, so I guess it's a little bit of a higher difficulty of a map. I just realized that we didn't even have to buy the model, we just got it by default. Okay then. I guess that means it is a little bit of a hard map. But none of the DLC maps actually have a difficulty. Like on the regular multiplayer maps, or the base game multiplayer maps I should say, they did have difficulty, but for some reason the DLC maps don't. Now we can actually fall off the map if we're not careful. I do remember that from watching a very OG video playthrough of this map. So we're going to have to be really careful about that. And they also give us extreme conditioning. That's kind of cool. I'm obviously going to replace that for sleight of hand, but it's not a bad perk. This has been a very long time since I played some Modern Warfare 3 Survival. I... I mean, it's been over a month. Just like with zombies. I was debating today if I even wanted to continue playing Modern Warfare 3 Survival here on the channel, to be honest, but... And I'm still kind of in that debate, but we'll see. If I have a lot of fun today playing this, then we'll stick with Modern Warfare 3 Survival and Zombies every Sunday special for, for the near future. So... Okay. Nice, let's go. Okay, we have 5k? Okay, uh, we probably could buy a weapon if we wanted to, but I think I'm going to not do that. I think we'll go ahead and play another wave and see what happens. I think we could probably honestly save up money until wave five. I wouldn't see why we couldn't. This weapon is so easy. You don't even have to aim. Like I'm literally just hit firing everything. That's a little too far away. We need to run. We need to run away. There's quite a few enemies. Jeez. This is definitely not what you would consider the easiest difficulty. Not at all. Okay. Oh, I got three and one. Let's go. Okay, run away again. This is a cool DLC map. Looks like it's in New York. And we're on a giant sk skyscraper. This was back in the day, though, when DLC maps were actually, you know... 
I guess I, I guess I shouldn't say that the DLC maps aren't creative nowadays, but this was back when every single DLC map you would find in the game was brand new, like never seen before. And I guess Modern Warfare 2, I have been keeping up on Modern Warfare 2 news even though I haven't been playing it at all. And they've definitely added quite a few weapons into that game. I think we're going to go with the old, we're going to go with the FAD. Let's mix it up a little bit. And then I'll probably have an LMG as my secondary, but the FAD is just so good. Or either an LMG or an SMG as my secondary. We'll see. We do have a self-revive too. I wanted to make sure I check that. Because when we were playing the hardest difficulty maps, they obviously don't spawn you in with a quick revive. So, Or a self-revive, I should say. But one of the things that I really hope with this video is that the game audio is in sync. I was disappointed. Oh, so they added Juggernaut in mid-round. Okay, then. See ya. And a helicopter. Wow. Okay. This is certainly not an easy map. You can't shoot me. Then. Oh my gosh, you can. Okay. All right. Holy, okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you play a survival map for the first time. Okay, this is a good this is a good spot right here. This is a good spot. Okay. There we go. Okay, there's the helicopter down. Okay, we need to keep that in mind for the rest of the game. Every four waves, we're going to have a, a difficult round. Okay. That's a fully real trigger finger. That's not a fake one or anything. Or, uh, I guess, you can't really have a modded... Uh, I guess we'll go with the... Should we go with the squirt gun? Yeah, we'll go with the squirt gun and the fad for now. Sounds like a really good loadout. Okay, let's go grab some flashbangs and we'll also grab some more... I guess we won't buy body armor yet. We'll just go grab some flashbangs. But yeah, I guess that's what happens when you haven't played a map before. You don't really know exactly what the difficulty is going to be as far as survival goes. But, I mean, that was anything we couldn't handle. I mean, it was actually relatively easy, all things considered, but... No. You have to definitely still have to be careful, though. Though, it's not like you can... Wait, I think that enemy just fell off the map. I think he just fell off the map. Oh, no, he just fell down there. I was like, what? Yeah, he didn't fall off the map. That's funny. Thought he did for a second there. Where is he, though? Oh, hey, buddy. See ya. His weapons absolutely shred. There's a reason that the fad is the weapon of choice for very difficult enemies. All right, let's go ahead and head over to the kill streaks, and we'll get ourselves a predator missile. Not a predator missile, perk. Let's go get slide of hand back. I mean, extreme conditioning is great and all, but I mean, this map doesn't seem to be very big, so we don't really need it. Okay, let's go with her care package. Slide of hand. Care package on the way. So we can go down in here too. Cool. It seems to be a pretty small map. Like, I bet this was a pretty fun DLC map to play on. Ooh, this is a this is a nice area. Unless the helicopters can go down there. If they drop down to these windows, we're in trouble. Beautiful. 
No, buddy, no. Nice try. See ya. And that's it. All right. Now, this is going to be wave seven, so we're not going to have a hard wave here, most likely. So, we will try and do this entire round over by the equipment area so that we can very, very easily go and grab body armor when the wave comes. Is that dogs, too? I can definitely hear them. See you later. And now there's these guys down as well. And this is definitely... It's kind of like a regular mode. Like the regular difficulty, but with like a harder twist. So it's like in the middle of... Hardened and regular. Very. Which I like. I like the challenge. I think they kind of did that on purpose. I think that they intentionally made the DLC maps a little bit more difficult. With the anticipation or the hope that you would have played most of the survival maps in the game already. So you kind of have a pretty good grasp about what's going on. And I think if I pause, you can't see the entire mini map, but you can see kind of a decent look at it. But. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say this is a small DLC map. Like, it's not huge, but it's also not, like, a shipment. So, it's it's definitely small. Suicide bombers, keep your distance. I wish I could play, th play these maps on actual multiplayer and see how they actually played. But, unfortunately, this is really the only way that I can play, this, play these DLC maps on Modern Warfare 3. In 2023, anyway. I'm just, I'm just waiting for it. Is that lag or am I dropping frames? What the heck? I think I was just dropping frames. Maybe that was lag. I have no idea. Kind of weird. Modern Warfare 3 does that sometimes. Okay. Looks like I was wrong. That is every four waves. So, I mean, we should still probably be prepared if it is, if it does so happen to be a hard wave. I'm thinking that probably it will be. Yeah, there's, okay, there's two jugs. Two juggernauts. Now, I wonder if there's going to be a helicopter that spawns in, too. I don't know. Regardless, it honestly doesn't matter too much because we have priorities. Now, can I shoot that? Okay, thank God. Imagine if they could do that. If we could actually do that in this map. That would be terrible for the flow. Okay, there is a real helicopter. Okay. Okay. Is there any way for me to drop down? Yes, there is. This is not where I want to... Here we go. Here we go. This is where I want to be. Nice try. Okay, let's try and get the infantry out of the way. Go this way. See ya. See ya. That's a juggernaut, okay. That's another one. Beautiful. Okay, we should be able to get through this wave now. No. Run, 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 run. Don't get hit again, don't get hit again, don't get hit again. Using the old prone technique. Okay, I'm gonna wait for them to get closer. You shouldn't get sandwiched by them. 
should just be able to do... Come on. No! Crap, one of them to get hit by the flash. Crap. I'm not hitting very many shots on these guys. Because the PP90 usually shreds them. No! Jeez, that was a bad first down. It's alright though. We... Hmm. Probably could have done could have done things a little bit better there, but it's alright. Okay. Wait for him to shoot. And that is wave. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go grab ourselves a self-revive. And we'll grab some ammo, and then... I think we'll probably grab some... I don't know if it'll be body armor. I mean, I guess we could probably start buying body armor every wave. I mean, we have 21k. I mean, it's not like we're necessarily low on ammo. Or low on money. Yeah, it's a grenade refill. I guess we'll do everything. I guess we'll do everything. Okay, I might actually switch my SMG to something with a little bit lower of a fire rate. Enemy forces heading your way. Okay, I guess I'll use it one more round, so... Or one more wave. The fattest weapon we can keep for a while. I might go with the P90. Here. And that was the last guy. Okay, sweet. So we'll go ahead and grab the P90. And we'll grab some ammo. And let's not get into the next wave yet. Let's go grab some body armor. Is there a faster way to get up there? I don't think there is. I think the way we went is probably the fastest way. Yeah, because either way we have to go up some, some stairs. So I guess either way is equally as fast. But I want to make sure that I'm on the other side of the map when we get those juggernaut rounds. Like 100%. Be advised, large enemy I don't want to be caught you get dug in. on that, on the side behind me. Because this area over here has a really safe underground. Like, safer than the other side of the map. So. Now, if you guys are brand new, which we've gained a lot of subscribers in a month, so I'm sure a lot of you are brand new, but what I do when I play Modern Warfare 3 Survival Mode is... I used to be a player who would just camp exclusively and not really move. But since I have, you know, leveled up quite a bit and have pretty solid weapons and a pretty good grasp on how the game works, I've decided... That is more fun to do a little bit to rush around and do kind of a moving strategy and it has ended up working really successfully in, in this series i mean we managed to get to very very good ways by doing it i mean you know we're not breaking records here but it certainly is more fun for me and i know it's probably more fun to watch for you guys as well because camping strategies i mean They work until they don't. And they actually work really well. Oh god, okay. Okay, okay, okay. And what I mean by that is there is a point in your playthrough where The sentry guns and stuff do just stop killing. I mean, they do very little damage, and it can put you in very, very bad situations, and that is not the type of situation that you want to find yourself in. You don't want to be, you know, camping in a building, in a room, and then all of a sudden, there's, you know, a hundred enemies, and there's no way out. However, when you do a moving strategy, it might take a little bit longer, but it's significantly... I wouldn't maybe not significantly safer, but it's safer because 
you know, you can easily find routes to get out of bad situations. You know what I mean? So, and it's also a little bit more fun instead of just sitting in a room waiting for enemies to come in front of you. So, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of like when we've been doing the zombies, I've been doing more of a training strategies than the camping strategies. Of course, I know that there's maps that really the best way to get to high round is by camping. So on those specific maps, we'll be camping. But for the most part, I, I like to try and do training strategies and stuff like that. So I brought that over to survival as well. Wow, there's so many guys over here. What the heck? Okay. I heard you, dog. I heard you. Beautiful. I might go grab an LMG here. I mean, we're kind of getting to that point in the game where we're kind of... where we might kind of need one because it has a lot of ammo. I think we'll go ahead and grab the MG36. Alright, perfect. Here yeah, we're almost out of body armor, but we'll be okay. It's a hard wave. It's a hard wave. It is what it is. Now here's going to be the true test. If it is in fact a hard wave. And it's not. Okay. Oh, I think most of them are down here. Okay, it is a hard wave. Okay, I figured it would be. What the heck? The announcer said something, but I could not hear what it was. Oh, it's a big boy. It's a big boy juggernaut too. Wow, man, this map is certainly not easy difficulty. Holy crap. This is wave 14. This is wave 14. Holy. Lighten him up. There we go. Okay, there's the big guy down. There's the big guy down. This just became significantly easier. Wow, this this map is no joke. Wow. I did not realize that was gonna be this high of a difficulty. It's like a lot of survival maps, though, they kind of just ease you in. And then all of, a, all of a sudden, things are just insane. And you're like, how did this get so crazy? Alright, well, let's get these. See you later. Okay, there's one more left, but I'm going to actually run through the entire map over to the ammo. So that we can start the wave very effectively. Okay, where are you, Chopper? Nice, there we go. All right, wave 15. Holy moly. <laughs> when this game started, I was like, 
we could easily make it to probably 30, but I don't know about that anymore. Seeing with how as how with how quickly things have escalated, it started off kind of nice and easy, and then all of a sudden we're you know wave only 14, and we had a hard juggernaut with an easy juggernaut and two helicopters with infantry. That's definitely I think harder than insane. So we need to keep an eye out on wave 18, I guess. Like even the regular enemies are getting pretty pretty difficult now. I think they are they ACR armor? Yeah, they are. They are ACR armored enemies. I'm sure most of you guys know this already, but <clears throat> how they do it is whatever armor that they have on is the difficulty that they're going to be. So, you know, for example, we had the very easy enemies in the very beginning of the game, which had just models. And then the hardest, as far as I know, the hardest infantry, the most advanced that the weapons get for the infantry are just, I believe, L uh, fads. Their armor just increases, so. We won't run into those guys until I believe 30 plus. Enemy forces in so quite a while. But on this map, it might even be, you know, 20, 20 plus. You know, that now that I'm actually thinking about it, I think I remember when I watched that old video of survival on this map. I, I think I remember that like a really good wave on this was like 25. Wow, this thing, 36 is actually really good. But it does have a very weird sound effect. Like, you heard that, right? Interesting. Okay. Uh, my body arm is actually doing really well. That was a very good strategy. Okay. Is it a hard wave, though? Okay, I was thinking it should be 18. 18 should be the hard one. You guys come in. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, let's switch to our SMG. Guys are getting kind of close to us right now. Haha, <laughs> see you later. Oh my gosh, we just annihilated that entire wave. Okay, but we need to go grab some body armor. And we also need to go grab some more flashbangs. Flashbangs, body armor, okay. And I guess this, unfortunately, might be where we have to do the hard wave. Team, chemical agent Is it a hard? I don't know. I can't really figure it out. Unless for whatever reason they spawn them in mid-round, mid which they very well could. My familiarity, again, with this, with how this map works for survival is not my strong suit. Since this is literally my first time ever playing this map in my life, so. Okay, 
Okay, they're still ACR, guys. I figured that they were, but... Perfect. If you tap fire this thing... It has almost no recoil. It's kind of wild. Our accuracy was only 34% that, that round. It felt... I mean, I guess we were kind of spraying quite a bit. But who cares? They're AI. I mean, accuracy, of course, always matters in Call of Duty. If you miss a bunch of shots on AI, they're going to do a ton of damage to you. But again, they're AI. It's not like they're real players where we have a KD at stake or anything like that. We're just all about surviving. This is getting weird. I feel like they're probably going to spawn high level enemies in the middle of this wave to try and throw us off. I knew it. I knew it. I'm, I'm smart. Okay, that's two knives. Get inside. Oh, we're just down to the juggernauts. Maybe can I can I get a really big head start on them? And take out some of these helicopters? That was dumb. I thought it was smart in the moment, and then I realized, oh, okay, that was not smart. Not smart at all. Nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, we're good. We're going to make it to 20. We're going to make it to 20. As long as I play smart. I couldn't tell if they were if these were two big guys or not. They are two big guys. There we go, there's one. Let's just keep on playing smart here. Perfect. Nice, man. Let's go. Let, let's go. Look how much money we have. Yeah, we have a ton. A ridiculous amount. Okay. Well. We are going to have a hard wave between here and 25, but... We should be able to get to 25, I would think. As long as I play smart. That's really what it comes down to. Those waves are not easy, though. It's going to get more and more difficult. Watch. I bet you these are going to be fat enemies now. How much you want to bet? Yep, they're definitely fat enemies. 100%. You can hear it. Oh no. Yep. The hardest difficulty, guys, as far as weapon goes in the game. Of course, obviously. Next to... Juggernauts. They're 
Yeah, they just get, I mean, the enemies, they'll get improved armor, I believe, as waves go on. But we're basically playing at wave 30 right now. The difficulty that we're at is definitely wave 30 difficulty. But we're only on wave 21. Crazy. But also lots of fun. I definitely made a good decision to come back and play this today. Not that I didn't make a not that I made a bad decision by playing zombies, because you guys all know how much I love zombies, but definitely was a good decision to come and play this today. Again, I mentioned it in a lot of survival videos, but I will always prefer zombies over survival, but survival is is its own special type of fun. And I just wish that Modern Warfare 2 brought it back. <clears throat> Voice is kind of dead for some reason. Okay, let's run away. Gotta wait until we get to full health. Yeah, I'm really wishing that Modern Warfare 2 brought back survival mode. But they brought back DMZ instead. Enemy which Good work, team. I have barely played. I don't think it's a bad mode or anything. I mean I guess I guess it's not really amazing, but I just I wish that they brought back survival mode. Because I would actually probably play that in Modern Warfare 20 Modern Warfare 2 if it was actually you know, solo friendly. The Modern Warfare 2019 version of survival was just about the same, but you couldn't play it solo. Like, you would die so fast, it was just impossible. I think the best I ever did on that map was make it to wave 5, Enemy forces inbound. Get ready. which is just terrible. Like, it was definitely made for four players, which, in my opinion, that's not how it should be. Modern Warfare 3 did it survival absolutely perfectly. I guess it better than zombies, no, but it's fun. Okay, let's get into cover. So I can't kill anybody. Never mind. I can. Run! Uh oh, that might be it. This might be it. This might be it. Run! Oh god, we almost jumped off the map. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away! Trail of grenades, trail of grenades, trail of grenades, trail of grenades. This might be when we need to start buying airstrikes. <clears throat> Genuinely. Okay, let's get this and get that. Luckily, we had a ridiculous amount of money. Holy crap, man. If you want to... If you... That is a perfect... That is a perfect survival clutch right there. Not that I'm a, the most amazing player at Modern Warfare 3 survival ever or anything like that, but if you want to get... If you want a clutch, that's how you do it. Because we were in a very bad situation and we managed to get out of it with relatively little damage. But it could have gotten a lot worse, absolutely. So that's that's a tip for all of you guys. If you are if you you know still play survival mode or are interested in playing survival mode, the best way for you to when you go down and on a wave like this that's this high, the best thing that you can possibly do is look for the enemies that are the weakest. Because even though the waves get really difficult. They are always going to have weak enemies. Okay, come on. Shoot, dude. Freaking gas. Come on. No. Half of a second. We needed half of a second. We made it to wave 23, though, but that was insane. That was insane that was a hard difficulty
I did not expect it to be that difficult. Holy crap. How do we place worldwide? 16. 16 what? Just outside of 2,000. Just outside of 2,000. What would have happened if we made it to... 25. Wave 24 would have put us into 1500. And above. Wave 25 would have put us within the. Oh, dang it. We need to just survive two more rounds. But look at that. Then getting to 300, you have to get to 30 plus. Wow, man, that's actually not too bad. Honestly, with how hard of a difficulty that is of a map, I will take that. I will honestly take that. Obviously, it's not the most amazing thing ever, especially considering that Liberation, you know, was an easy map. That was difficult. I wonder if Black Box is the same as Overwatch. I think the difficulty on all of these maps is different. Like, I don't think that they're all the same. I think some of them are harder than others. Some of them are easier than others. I think it's just... I think because, well, actually, I don't know, because I was going to say that because this was the last map in the collection, which is not, Black Box is, these two might be the hardest, and then it'll get easy, hard, easy, I don't know, we'll see, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of my Sunday special here in Modern Warfare 3, had a really, really good time playing Modern Warfare 3 Survival again here for you guys today. Uh, and in our next episode, of course, we'll be heading over to Black Ops 2 Zombies, which is definitely, or Black Ops 3 Zombies, for the first time, which is going to be a lot of fun. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, my friends is always appreciated and check out any of my other previous episodes of this series. They'll all be linked down below in the description. As well, they will also be at the end of the video for to check out as well. So you guys are on another Call of Duty or Fortnite video very, very soon.